Nara lives on a small farm in Sub-Saharan Africa with her family. They raise several crops to eat and sell the extra to pay for school and medical fees. Nara and her family depend on their land for survival. So it was a shock when one morning they discovered half of their newly planted crops uprooted. They learned a neighbor had decided to give this land to his newly married son so that he and his wife could have a field of their own. Nara talked to the neighbors, but they insisted the land is theirs. Unfortunately, like millions of people, Nara's family lacks documentation of their land rights. In many countries, land use rights are weak or unclear. Claims are often undocumented and overlapping. Growing populations increase demand for land, sometimes fueling competition and conflict. To address this challenge, USAID has developed an innovative participatory process that helps communities map and document their land. The Mobile Applications to Secure Tenure, or MAST approach, enables communities to quickly, transparently, and affordably document and secure their land rights. This is especially important for women who often have weaker land rights than men. Unlike traditional lengthy land surveys conducted by external experts, with MAST, the community is empowered to work with land officials and surveyors to map, validate, and document their own land. First, community members learn about their land and resources, legal rights, the mapping process, and develop a strategy for verifying the information in their town or village. Next, trusted community members are trained on easy-to-use mobile phone or tablet applications. They conduct the mapping of land parcels with the involvement of other village members. As part of the approach, the community identifies current land claims and boundaries and addresses any disputes. Once the mapping is completed, the whole community agrees on a final map that is sent to government authorities. After the map is verified and certified, community members receive their land certificates. The MAST approach allows community members to understand their land rights and participate in land discussions. And this helps to empower women, youth, and others who sometimes lack a seat at the table. It also fosters transparency in resource allocation and management and as a result, greater trust in local leadership. Through the MAST process, Nara and her neighbors were able to participate for the first time in community discussions about the use and allocation of land in their village. They resolved the dispute with their neighbors and now feel confident enough in their land rights to invest in better seeds and fertilizer. Strengthening land and property rights is central to the journey to self-reliance. Stronger land rights can improve and strengthen development outcomes in food security, health, education, and civic engagement. In some cases, stronger land rights can help farmers access credit. Land is foundational for economic growth and prosperity in rural areas. When farmers know they have clear, secure land rights, they are more willing to invest in their land, which creates a more productive and valuable asset. The MAST approach has been used successfully in a variety of contexts, from improving forest conservation in Liberia to increasing women's economic empowerment in Tanzania. For more details about the MAST approach, case studies, and access to MAST tools, visit landlinks.org backslash MAST.